Right, make sure you have your clip selected and go to the color page. First, we need to add in a second node, so right mouse button, add node, and add a serial node. The reason for that is because we will always have an original one. Okay, so select this one, and now the magic is going to happen. Make sure you click the qualifier, and then click this symbol. And then just go to her skin, hold your mouse button, and just drag over it. And then here, you see what is being selected. Now, obviously, this image has some extra colors in it, which means that this requires an extra mask. But in theory, if you just have a model in, let's say, a wood or a forest or whatever, you will just have the skin tone selected. Right, so to add a mask, let's click here in the window, and let's click the pen tool, and I'm just going to create one around her face and neck. And then we need to keyframe this. So with these three selected, so just click on them. So all three of them are selected. You will now see that the mask, which is this, is being showcased here, which means we only have our skin now and not the oranges in the back. And now with just the arrow keys, you can go through the footage and then adjust the mask accordingly when needed for just as long as this clip lasts if you want to. Now, the reason why I'm doing this in this way is simply because a lot of you don't have DaVinci Resolve Studio where you would have been able to use the magic mask. So this is the manual way to do this. It takes a much longer time to achieve. But on the other hand, you know, it's free and it gets the job done. So just make sure you do this throughout the entire clip. And then once you're done, make sure you just click out of it so that you don't see the mask anymore. But the mask is still here. I'm going back to the first frame. And now I can change her skin color any way I like. So I'm going to give it a bit more color. Here we go. To make it look more natural or more healthy, actually, because she was kind of pale. Now, if you want to see a before and after, so if I play this clip, you'll see that this is now our skin tone. If you want to see a before and after, you can click this symbol, which is the disable one, the bypass color grades and fusion effects. And then that means if I play the clip and I select that, you will see the original color, which is this. And now this is with the color grade applied.